so. Here's what we're looking for. <clears throat> the Lunatic Garden. <clears throat> it's a very ominous sound effect. I don't know about you, but my stomach's feeling like it's been clawed out from the inside. Must be something you wait. Guessing that little twister town doesn't have the best health and safety standards with its uh, food. Yeah, it's yet another unpleasant sensation brought about by the mediums, it seems. Yeah, I know what you mean. I get this sinking feeling with exhaustion. A different kind of energy from the one Janice emits. I have a bad feeling about this. Let's just hurry and get this over with. Man speaking my language. Alright, let's see what the lunatic garden has to offer. Can you hit that with a boomerang? No? Okay. So these two side doors here. We can't get to them from here with what we've got available. So let's just move on. To a dead end. <sighs> Whatever shall we do? Well, first off, we'll pick up a Galakard. Some money. <clears throat> and the Steady Doll. Press square button to manipulate a doll possessed by a lesser spirit. You know. It's normal things. Dolls capable of pressing a switch from afar. Okay. So that doll belongs to Gallows. If you press square, it sends it out and it bounces back. Or if it hits a wall, you can uh, fly it around. Go up to this, press the examine button as usual, and that comes down. Do this one first because this is a duplicated door. Which probably means there's something interesting behind it. Treasure chest! Another thing a steady doll can do. Open treasure chests. You might want to see a upgrade our level. Nice. Tiny flower. A pretty flower, white and pure. I forget what that does. I think it increases your luck. But I don't know. I don't remember. I'll never use it. <laughs> Revive fruit, that's always good to have. <clears throat> Alright. Let's now just do the same on this side. But yeah, that's his second uh, tool. And as you can probably guess, there's going to be quite a lot of tools because each character has three, I believe. So that's, that's a lot of uh, stuff you can do in the field for a lot of different puzzles. Which I just find quite delightful. It's one aspect of this game that I really enjoy. A lot of stuff you can do in the field. A lot of interesting little uh, things that you don't see very often. <laughs> I probably should be fighting some stuff. But eh, for now we're fine. Let's go this way. Then we're back over this bridge that we saw at the entrance. Okay, what have we got here? Three blocks, three switches. Easy enough. Bouncy, bouncy. Ooh, wait a minute. Okay, no, I got it. I got it. No, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, I don't got it. Nope, I messed up. Because... Uh, there's no way for me to push that one over into, into the corner. Because I can only push it on like that, that direction or that direction. Whichever way I push it, it's going to get blocked by the other crate. I can't... I can't... I can, I can move one of these corner crates into that corner. But then I won't be able to get this one into these corners because I can't pull it backwards. So... Yeah, messed that one up. That's fine, that's fine. I think what we need to do is move this one over first. Ambushed.
water zone. Sweet side. I just forget what stairs effect does. That's fine. I'm married. Weird. This game has a lot of weird looking enemy designs. <laughs> Still, let's analyze it. See what it can do. Oh, I hope that doesn't cancel out his uh, spell. Ouch! Okay. <clears throat> okay. So whatever that stairs effect is, it doesn't cancel out spell. That's good. It isn't to water, but no weaknesses. Okay. He'll use it doesn't drain up all his vitality for the next fight. Ouch. Man, that hurts. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Amnesia gas. Well, since you guys already have that. A toy hammer, which I believe cures amnesia? If I had to guess. Yeah, so we only have one. Alright. <laughs> Give it to you, I guess. I still don't remember what it does, but it's probably fine. How bad could it possibly be? There we go. Yeah, this is a very Zelda-esque aspect of this, where they've given you a new uh, tool to play around with in the field. So this dungeon's going to be all about making use of it. Showing you what it can do. Yes, <laughs> not really too complex, though, I'll be honest. This tool is one of the uh, simpler ones to figure out. Okay, what am I going to do for this one? Jump off the edge. Because <clears throat> that's a stiffer button that you can't just stand on. So I think they say it's like rusted or something. So you need some more pressure to open it. Did I use the other one I got? Not yet. Still not entirely sure how to use that one. We haven't really been using the summons yet, so... Lucky card, you'd love to see that. And a Gimel coin. Okay, new enemies here. Oak. <clears throat> Professor Oak, is that you? Just gonna test the theory. Guessing they're weak to fire. Let's see if we're gonna guess that before we analyze. Ah, <laughs> yep. Halves from thunder, resistant to earth, weak fire, active water. I forget what active means. It's different from absorbs. Absorb means when you hit them with it, they heal. I forget what active means. I think it means they counterattack with a special thing, maybe? Don't remember. I'm curious enough to find out, though. <laughs> Let's just see what happens. We're doing this for science! So it does zero. And then nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay. At least we tried. Fire gem because I killed the first one with cremate. I need to remember to do that more often. Ah, right. Just 
stand on here and then hit it. Refill and counter gauge and move on through. So far so good. It's not a very complex dungeon. Refill our um, vitality. <sighs> Alright, <laughs> you can quite tell by all the status effects going on that that fight didn't go well. I mean, it was fine, but Clive's paralysed. Ooh, we've got a lot of stuff for it there. And yeah, I finished off with um, uh, Virginia's Summon, which also counts as a magic attack when it comes to getting gems from enemies. Paralyzed cures after battle, that's good. Well, Amnesia doesn't, which <laughs> still don't know what it does. Do you even have to ha even after playing this game so many times, there's still a lot of the stairs perks. I don't know what they do. Uh, maybe it's just me not paying attention much, I don't know. I'm sure they explained it at some point and I just missed it. Ooh, nice little outdoors area. Now we've got crates here, and obviously what you th we're usually thinking is, just break all the crates to get treasure. Not this time. Okay, duplicate from there. So, all we need to do is take the crates, hit the crystals. It's a little tricky to do. And the crystal over there. You need to get the uh, distance right. Yeah. Ooh, that one did have something in it. But I can't pick it up. No. No, it's a Gimel coin. Okay, where's the other crystal? There it is. And that opens the door. <laughs> okay, let's break the rest of the boxes though. See if any of the others have anything in them. Maybe another Gimel coin. <laughs> we'll never know what was in that one. Wow. The only one that had something in it was the Gimel coin. <laughs> okay. Easy enough. Oh. Very ominous looking. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's nothing at all. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Life is what I'm seeking. My desire is to pour life into a vessel of human form. Your dubious stuck-up attitude. You're just like that woman. Oh? Um? Oh, I see you've met Melody. You seem to have offended her. <laughs> I took the brunt of her fiery wrath. She's back at the lab, working diligently, but she's not the type to keep her feelings bottled up. Even as we speak, I'm sure she's reading furiously. I don't know what it is you're scheming, but your actions speak of evil intentions. Stop this at once. Oh, does this light bother you? What is the light? Sure as heck ain't normal. Don't play smart with us. <laughs> Your boorish behaviour annoys me. Take a look around. This warm, shimmering light. Oh, how beautiful life is. The existence of this guardian will cease. It will continue to live on in a new, beautiful form. 
a much more worthy demise than decaying in this forgotten shrine, wouldn't you agree? Not if we can stop it. But what must be done, must be done. I must get on with my work, understand. My motto is work with a smile, and always go the extra mile. Well, but if you really insist on fighting, then I guess it cannot be avoided. However, there is so much I need to do, so I'll leave the dirty work to someone more appropriate for the task. Janus? What is it, Janus? Do you not accept? If I cannot count on the Dark Knight, I will take matters into my own hands. Oh. Here you are against the Slickster. Alright, oh, you, 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 um... I remember your gimmick. Vaguely. You are not susceptible to physical attacks until you've been slowed. With Decelerate, I believe. He's, you see he's got that aura around him. That little shimmer. And of course he confused the one person who was going to do something about that. Brilliant. Do I have anything for confuse? I do, okay. Let's set up a few other things while I'm at it, I suppose. Uh, oh, I don't know. Watching your move. Okay, fine. <sighs> It's decelerated, now he doesn't have that aura. And now we can attack. Try injury. Oh, just all the stairs effects at once. Brilliant. And I forget what... Two of them do. Amnesia, misery, and uh, illness. So that's not his name. I forget the actual name. <laughs> misery, I think, means he can't use his arcana. I think. Um, still not worth using a Gala card on you. I'll keep building her up to use the uh, lucky card at least. And Heartbroken, and that's it. So I think that's the misery, the spiral thing. That's fine, he was just going to attack anyway. <laughs> really just going after Clive. Lucky card. You just keep attacking. You reload. I can't remember how long the decelerate lasts for, though, so at some point we will need Clive to be able to use spells again. <laughs> and he does not seem keen on letting that happen. Alright. I think every single attack he's done so far has gone after Clyde. Okay, it's Peppy Acorn that cures that, but again, I don't want to do that just yet. Because knowing my look, I'm cure I'll cure it of him now. Then by the time I actually need to use it, then he'll be afflicted again, so... Let's just... just keep things simple. Let's just keep on blasting.
again on Clive. Oh, nice. Okay, still good, I think. Yes, it doesn't, it doesn't have the Ori up. Maybe you only need to use it once. Hmm. Okay, that was it. Your perseverance has given you the upper hand in this drawn-out battle. But I have gathered enough guardian energy for the time being. A wise choice would be for me to retreat. With the clear charm. Oh, I see what Amnesia does now. No EXP gain. That is unfortunate. <laughs> and then they're still not ahead in levels. Virginia and Jet were still behind, so actually it worked out. Okay. Janus, I could have used you. The coordinate axis of my mutation is still unstable. My body hasn't fully adapted to its powers and there are times when it won't function like I want it to. The nerve of you to say such things. Even your, muta even your mutation is unreliable. Moreover, there never would have been a need to utilize the Guardians if only you had acquired the Arc Scepter in the first place. Do you realize the pain and suffering my body endures by trying to make contact with an intangible spiritual being? My apologies, but hey, no worries. I'll del I'll personally deliver the energy you've collected and escort you out of here. You have my word. You're not getting away with this. You're coming with me. Let me show you the right way to kick their behind. We get the moon spark. Possibly one of my favorite mediums, actually. So let's have a look at that, shall we? I think I want to give it to... Um, I think I want to give it to Jet, usually. The Dark Guardian Celestu. Let's have a look at the skills it gives. So we've got sleep, sleep ward. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Resistance to dark attacks. Doesn't go up too often, but you know, not bad. Reduces the FP cost of Arcana. This one's okay. The further we go on, it's gonna be less useful, but still. It is not bad. Let's go for that for right now. And the clear chime. Confuse resist. Honestly, that'd be good on pretty much anyone. <laughs> and misery, yeah. They kind of tempted to just give everything to her right now. Because she is the weakest character, so. Having her miss out on. Uh... No, that's not the EXP game. Um, Misery's can't use Arcana. So actually, actually, giving that one to Gallows is probably better. Yeah. Yeah. And Confusion, I think I'll give that to... Terror. Yeah. You definitely don't want Clive confused, because uh, if he attacks your party members, it's going to hurt a lot. <laughs> He's just got so many states back then. When we get back to town, I really need to buy some stuff. Okay. So let's get rid of misery and that disease. Yeah. Can't do anything about. Uh, amnesia, yeah. So pro has got no way of letting them gain experience. Okay. 
Okay, let's have a look at these spells that she gives. Weakens magic defense, not bad. Put the targets to sleep, can be very useful. Removes restrictive magical effects from the targets. Uh, restrictive, I mean... Ooh, I wonder if that's... Um, amnesia. I might be able to cure Amnesia. And Grav. <laughs> Basically gravity. I think it works the same as Final Fantasy Gravity where it's uh, percentage based damage. Let's build up Jet's FP because I want to test something on this one. I was going to see if I could cure um, Amnesia but whatever. It's fine. Yeah, we do have to uh, walk our way out of this place. Oh, I wonder if the um, the Gimel coin crate has respawned. It, it did. Nice. What level are we now? Fifteen fine. Okay. So there's a side quest that I want to do now that we've got the steady doll, but I still don't think we're ready for it because I think it recommends being level 20, 21 to 25 ish. Uh, it's a very useful side quest I would like to do as soon as possible, but it's also very difficult. There's no way you'll make it out in the shape you're in. Persistent, aren't we? Tell me, what motivates you to act with such passion? Persistence is the key to survival. It's a creature from ages past, but it shall suffice to buy some time. Angle moi. Unleash your hidden frenzy. Do not hold back. <sighs> Another boss fight, okay. King of Angle Moi. Alright, let me just drop a save here because I didn't remember there was a boss like that. Just in case we die a lot, you know, which honestly could happen. Okay, analyze and just attack, see what, see what happens. Screaming mad. Oh, right. I think I remember what this boss fight does, and I remember being kind of a pain in the ass. But it is dark damage, I believe, so what I'm gonna do, just to make things a little bit cheesy, in a good way, uh, let's reset that, because you don't need that. I'm basically going to put everything into Dark Ward, so we're pretty much immune to Dark. Um, one away from using a Razor. So I want to see if a Razor can cure Amnesia. I can't remember what it means by restrictive status effects. Use another lucky card. Still not worth using the Gala card because you can sell them for three times as much as you'd get from this guy. So, okay, no, it's on the enemy. All right, removes restrictive magical effects from the target. I assume that means removes his buffs because th the wording is a little bit weird. Because you'd think remove restrictive magical effects that would mean like you know poisons and paralyze, but. Why would you want to erase those from the enemy? It's, it's weird wording, I think. Let's try out Grav just for the fun of it, shall we? And, uh... Yeah, I'll lock on. Sure, why not? Do, 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 do. A 
Eventually, I think I'll switch to using an AoE version of that, which attacks everyone. 800 damage. Haha. <laughs> yeah, that, that's really good. If I remember right, it doesn't always hit, so it's kind of a mix, but when it does hit, it's quite good. I know what I'm not doing, it's right now. Okay. Ouch. Ouchies indeed. 800 again. I'm going to cancel all with Gallows. Power cancel. So I can switch to extension heal. Cause just to be on the safe side, I think. Hmm, didn't heal that much for Virginia. Have our defense just to be safe. Uh, you just keep using Graf because honestly, it's kicking a booty. You build up your FP again and just attack. Back to screaming mad. So good. Keep going. We've got a, got a good rhythm going here. Ouch. Okay. Okay, you should probably heal yourself up. Just be on the safe side. You just keep rubbing it up. Didn't mean to defend you. That's fine. <laughs> and there's a Dark Ward in action. No effect, he's got that at max. Yeah, they gave you that uh, medium. And this fight is basically a showcase of that medium. Because its ward ability is useful in this fight. And its magic attack is also useful in this fight. Game design, man. Wild, innit? Um, I think we're good. Done to heal. Yeah. Just keep on blasting. I think we got this. A couple more grabs should kill it, honestly. Can't have that much more health, can it? Also, one thing we could test out is the Moon Spark Summon, just to show it off. Because like, we've seen all the other base summons when we fought against them. But any new mediums that we get from this point on, we haven't seen them in action, so... Let's see what it can do, shall we? Merciless Queen. Two thousand one hundred damage. Oh, you do love to see that. But also, how much health does this goddamn thing have? Yeah, that's that's why um, 
uh, Moonspark is one of my favourite mediums because it can just do so much damage in the right situations. Um, actually, let's heal everyone. Seriously, though, how much health does this thing have? He's built up his FP again, so I can keep using grab. Next time I get the chance to go back to Baskar Colony, I will rename the spells though. So I'm not a big fan of the default names. Like Vortex is, you know, fine. Inspire, I don't I don't like that for a thunder attack. Nah. Turbulence to enhance invasion. Nah. Kinda of more familiar with the um Final Fantasy terms like blink and haste. Same with quicken. Cremate, and I might just call it Flame. <laughs> I don't know. To be fair, mind names are not usually that good either, but. Feeble Mind, I'm not a fan of that. Sleep is fine, same as it is in Final Fantasy. Don't like Grav. Should either be like Gravity or Demi or something like it is in Final Fantasy, but. Just my personal preference. Um. This thing's gotta be nearly dead. It just has to be. There's no other possibility. How fitting. Jack gets the final kill. Then. Let me get a dragon fossil for our troubles. Something's been set in motion with the Guardians at its core. No, it's surging around the world. How poetic. Yeah. Uh, what's your problem? You do not seem to know what kind of predicament you are in. If only we had the Arc Scepter, we could have easily made contact with the intangible spiritual Guardians. Instead, due to your negligence, Malak has expended more of his energy than intended. Panakea fluid is our life support, as well as the source of our magic. However, our bodies cannot fully decompose this Panakea, and leaves a highly toxic metabolic decomposition within our bodies. Without the proper circulatory cleansing, we ourselves are in danger of disintegrating. This guy speaks with a lot of big words. Our degenerated bodies are like a foreign element trying to survive on Phil Gaia. This very planet will try to cleanse itself by removing these foreign elements. Us. Your duty is to protect us from Phil Gaia's purification. That is why we let you live. The dark spear you have received shall expose the truth and lead us to the Garden of Truth. That, that's, a, that's a lot of truth. You have been endowed with a power that exceeds all, so that you can stop the terraforming at all costs. Oh, now I get it. So that's why you gave me all a power that exceeds all, even you blokes. Kanda Estrata Amontos. Do not be impudent, Janus. The remote bomb Gears implanted within your body is set to activate in sync with our spell. Never forget that your perfidious actions might activate this at any time. Yeah, I won't forget. Even if you blokes forget, I won't. And away he goes. He has become another nuisance we must worry about. Melody, why is no time for the completion of the fortress? Who knows when the floodgates will open? I understand. Malik, we still need more energy to materialize the memories. Continue the investigation of the existing shrines. Hunt down all the guardians and collect their energy. Very well, but I would like to recuperate. I will have the husk scars in standby. No drifters shall interfere with our plans anymore. Yes, the Garden of Truth where the Dark Spear points. 
I'm guessing that they're the bad guys. Ah, oh, bugger. <laughs> bugger. Can't believe he was stealing the Guardian's life force. The Guardian was being eaten alive. Do you have any idea what his actions could signify? His actions? The Guardian has been violated. Nothing more, nothing less. Sorry guys, looks like I'm only one losing my cool here. I'm not really sure what that bugger was doing with the Dark Guardian, so let's do. We don't know what he's out for, but we know he's up to no good. There's one thing I did notice. Do you remember his outfit? It was very similar to someone else's. Oh, you mean that stuck up woman? I don't necessarily judge people by their appearance, but their outfit is something else. I think it's safe to assume that they're both working towards similar objectives, or are working under the same ideology. Mysterious pair working with Janus. I'd rather not get involved. Hey, is there any other shrines that house guardians? Oh, I get it. So we get there before they do, right? We don't know what their objective is, but as long as we know what they're after, we can take action. Yeah, but still... What? I remember hearing about the Guardian Shrines a long time ago, but you don't know their exact locations. If you put it plainly, no. Don't you just hate it when people don't come out when the clutch? Hey, are you referring to me? Oh wait, g give me a sec. I remember, uh, I remember one verse. It might provide a clue. Uh, give me a sec to remember. It wasn't like, um, a twinkle... Twinkle, little star? Oh no, that's not it. The light shines. The light shines the high ground, becoming dew at night, and augite by dawn. Those who wish to seek the light shall visit and offer prayer of prosperity. What do you say to that, huh? That tells us nothing. So, um, what does it mean? I have no idea. <laughs> what is that? I was always half asleep during Granny's sermons. Does this does this mean we're heading back to Baskar? The high ground is more like most likely northwest of here, past the desert desert strait to a mountainous mining mining region. I have heard that crystallized rocks known as, known as pyroxene have been mined there. That's it. The Guardian Shrine is probably there. Let's try and find out more tomorrow. There is one problem, however. How do we cross the desert strait without a vessel? I know where we can get a vessel. What's the matter all of a sudden? I sense someone watching me. Uh, no, it may be my imagination. That bird flying into the sunset. When an invisible force, or someone who doesn't reveal his name, creates a scene, there is no significance to his actions. They fully understand that there is no power or justice involved, as they are enclosed within a cellar where no one can denounce them. What the heck are you talking about, bud? <laughs> However, long before this world as we know it, there was a force that brought about atrocities. With power or justice, or perhaps both equipped, they may have been able to proudly reveal their true identity. What are you talking about? I'm sure it's nothing. Anyway, we got our um, condition green. There is something I heard from a customer. There is an abandoned lighthouse in these parts, and below it runs an ancient waterway. The same monster is inhabited now, but if you make your way through, you'll cross the continent to reach a mountain region. I don't remember many details since I was working, but that's pretty much what I remember. I think that's exactly what we're looking for, actually. This town here is what is now. This town here is what it is now, but. Originally, it was a rest stop for pilgrims visiting the shrines. These pilgrims hired drifters as guards, but eventually these pilgrimages ceased, giving rise to this lawless town. 
Things sure went downhill pretty quickly. Indeed it did. Is, um... Is the merchant guy around? Seems like no. Okay. <laughs>